Hello folks and welcome to the Pretty Go Tea Party and let's play Black Desert Online. This is closed beta 2. The game goes uh, released March 19th I think next month. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I uh, already made a character over on Serendinia, I think. Yes, I did. I um, went ahead and went with a, I think they're called Ranger. It's basically a bow class. Uh, and let's go ahead and get started. We'll talk a little bit about some things as we go along. The one thing you might not know about this game is the classes are gender based. So a Ranger can only be female. However, there's equivalents. There's like opposite gender equivalents for every class. So there's a male archer, but it's just not in the game yet, at least as far as I can tell. But um, just FYI, I don't know why they did it that way. It's a little strange. I don't know why they couldn't just have Ranger and you could be male or female, but I'm sure they have their reasons. As far as text and stuff, I think some of the stuff is voiced over now or uh, has voiceover. We'll listen to that. Uh, text quests, I probably will not be reading. Central city of trading. Back when ships from Valencia would anchor in Nauru, children would greet the merchants and fireworks would light the skies. Nauru was a thriving city of sailors and merchants, and crowded areas were guarded by mercenaries. Little did they know what had arrived. Could any of these people know of the Elysian Stone? It is the mythical stone of the ancient civilization, but the dark power it possesses has been hidden by that very civilization. At last, the Elysian was uncovered. A mysterious black smoke rose up over the ridge. It seemed to know exactly where it was headed. To Gomanaru. The Elysian Stone reverberated. People started to disappear all across Gomanaru. <laughs> it's the various character classes, by the way. Uh, it's like the green person is the default for the ranger. Remember that day that black stuff kind of came out and destroyed your ship and started taking people away? Ah, I think I remember it a little bit. So that's new. Oh, frame rate's tanking right here. If we have frame rate issues, I'll uh, adjust my settings a bit. But let's give it a chance to kind of get things sorted. Last time it was alright for the most part. I have not actually tried this class. I did play the game during the last closed beta. So I have a rough idea how the premise works. And as uh, has become our custom, my girlfriend actually designed this character. She did a pretty good job. I think it looks pretty neat. For a long, for a long blah blah blah, you should be okay if you move your body. Please don't tell me you forgot about the deal. This is a obviously most basic tutorial. Shift and W to sprint. You and I are like one. Uh, these guys, or this guy's text I will read. Humans always ask others to do bothersome chores. Thank you for waking up, but you gave me some trouble. And it's not over yet. I checked out everything here for you. You definitely owe me a lot. You want to know where we are? Ask the big guy over over there. Turn the mouse on or off. Oh, cool. I like having the video in the bottom. That's pretty neat. Then click the red button on the received quest info menu to activate navigation for that quest's destination. Which red the button? Destination will be highlighted by a huge pillar of light that you should be able to see from a distance. 
If you click the yellow button, you'll auto run to the destination. Yeah, T also works. Uh, try pressing you can R to talk. Between auto run and self navigation to move to the destination at your leisure. <laughs> uh, you want me to paint you like one of your French girls, or are you just kind of hanging out with the chickens? For a distinguished man like myself, don't you agree? <laughs> Thanks. You guys are all I have. Th this huh? is the f f fee, right? You fool. <laughs> you in fool. My little friends need better than that. A new line. What, what kind of person would eat his own friends? <laughs> He's got you on that one. They'll understand. This uh, voice acting's uh, leaving a little bit to be desired. Just pack up and leave for Velia. If you're headed to Velia, see if there's any room to open up another store. Not really this saying what's in the text. Sight. I guess he's just saying general text. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna really read the text I'm for the. Busy. Cut the crap and get to the point. Wow, what a jerk. Press the I key to open your inventory and use a recovery potion. Okay. Now press R to talk with the one who gave me the quest, okay? Proper breathing requires diligence. <laughs> Proper breathing requires diligence, okay. So you see we have the quest description here, well the quest description here and then it tells you what you get. Experience, HP, hit points, and silver coins. Maybe I should just pack up and leave for Velia. Thanks. Press the control key to turn the mouse on or off. Okay. That one I think I got. But the auto run system in this game is pretty awesome. Basically, I just hit T. I'm not controlling this right now. So wherever your current destination is set. Well, yes. Okay. I think we can close this now. If you click the yellow button, you'll auto run to the destination. Yep. Thank you, ma'am. I got it. I do like the having the video tutorials, but we've already got that one, so we don't need it again. If we continue to have performance issues, uh, like I say, I will check off camera and see what I can do to fix it. It could be partially because I'm recording. Some uh, some games don't like when you record, especially MMOs. They sometimes tank more than is typical. I got this necklace in Medea when I was young. Maybe this necklace is the cause of my granddaughter's nightmares. If you really need it, I'd be happy to give it to you. That would be a great help. I'm too old to care about this kind of thing anymore, you know. Mm. Here you are. Oh, thank you so much. We'll do everything possible to find the source of your granddaughter's nightmares. Please, seek out Princess Durette and her investigation team at the Ancient Stone Chamber. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the voice acting's a little, uh, Your ouch, so far. Are you from abroad? You've come to the right place. Our village has three excellent skill instructors. I just started sweating horribly profusely. Yes, I realize it's raining. I was trying to see if his voice actually ever matches up with what he says in the text. I think that answer is no. You're a new face. Are you from abroad? All right. Go talk to this dude. Oh, whoops. Wow. A little bit of gliding there. Are you really an expert? You don't look like one to me. What does an expert look like exactly? I've investigated ruins across the continent. Ancient artifacts are my forte. Everybody says they're an expert. Could you have done all that by yourself? <laughs> Not by myself. Yeah, I'm, not, not I'm with an ancient language what? expert yes, and some problem. quality excavators. Raining Vaseline. Uh, hmm. Um. You stand before Princess Jurette. You must mind your... Uh, uh, please understand that it's hard to trust you given the magnitude of the task before us. Return where you came from. Hmm. All right, then. This gemstone was recovered from the Valencia ruins. It was verified to be authentic by the Imperial Court. 
It couldn't be. A gem of balance? They say it concealed the dark power, but I never thought I'd see one in my life. Could this be what Sir Jordan is looking for? Fine. You are in charge of the hmm. Stone Chamber investigation. A fortnight. That's how long you'll have for the investigation. Good. You'll see me sooner than that. Destiny must have led you here. Never stop seeking light, even in the deepest darkness. Alright, so this guy we will read text because especially early on, he's probably going to tell us important gameplay mechanic type stuff. Just trust me, call me anytime by pressing the comma key. You're too weak now. You won't you even won't you even won't be able to survive. There's a pretty skilled fighter here. Why don't you go and see him? I heard people saying his name. It was Bunt. Something like that. Press the control key to turn the mouse on or off. Thank you, ma'am. You generally do want to talk to everybody, by the way. Wait, did he actually give me a quest? No. Okay. Uh, not maybe not every single guard, but a lot of uh, the NPCs will give you like. Let me just say that it's important. Talk to everybody, pretty much. Even if you just bring this up, you gain knowledge about various uh, people. Goblins are smart. If you underestimate them, you'll be sorry. Well, that was a very convincing threat. Obviously, people like Villager, you don't really need to get to know because they're worthless. They're worthless people. But uh, you do want to get knowledge from various NPCs or knowledge of those NPCs. So talk to them when you can. Again, you can just hit R and uh, close out for most of them. And that will be la important later on. And I'll we'll get to that when we when we get there. Bunt. If you must advance the runner, you must Who bunt it. Is Commander Croxus anyway? Did he get promoted to Commander by breaking bottles? Uh, uh, isn't this just an excuse to drink more? Hm. Leave Olvia to the vigilantes. We all have a strong attachment to this town. We should be the ones to defend. Alright, so this one we actually will read again because it's probably teaching us how to play the game. Evasive shot is one of the indispensable skills for you rangers. Don't forget that you attack while moving. You got some holes in your moves, I can understand. Everyone needs experience. Do you want to learn a new move? I guess charging wind would be a good choice. Well, watch the little video here. The plus icon indicates a skill you can learn now. Left click on the skill to learn it. Okay. You can also acquire skills using the learn button in the learnable skills list on the right. Oh, I see. It, tutorial goes a little slow. I do like this though. I do like this. I think it, that kind of thing is really good for beginners. It's possible for you to learn skills without a skill instructor. Press the, the K key to open the skills window and learn the skill you want. However, I think that uses energies. If energy, if you do it that way, this will consume energy if you're not with a skill instructor. Yeah. All right, that's that's enough. Uh, and we'll talk about energy a bit later, too. Have a strong attachment to this town. So many adventures in the continent are already masters. Whenever you think you're strong enough, that's the most dangerous moment. Comet puts your life at risk, blah, blah, blah. Try to attack a scarecrow. It might be different from actual fighting, but it'll help you learn. The basics are always important. All of us vigilantes look up to Croxus. Cro Damn! Like a lot of people uh, got in. Now this UI, I'm gonna work on this, like this, the whole thing showing our keys on the right hand side. That's temporary, I think. Uh, if not, we'll get rid of it because it's obviously in the way. Press the tab key or left click to switch between non-combat stance. Okay, what do you want me to do? Is there a problem? Well, uh... I remember this taking a while in the last beta too, like it doesn't quite recognize. Yeah, there we go. 
Left click or right click to attack. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change the setting because I'm getting terrible frame right here. Press S plus left click when attacking to perform a stronger attack. Wait, what? It didn't work. Press F to uh, press the F key to perform a secondary attack. Nice. Uh, there's the strong attack. Back in S or back in left click. At the same time, you can't just hold back. Return to the skill instructor. Yeah, sorry about the frame rate. It's but there's it's because there's so many people here. Once we get out and about, it'll probably help as well. Nobody has anything to say about this black cloud floating around talking to me? Call me anytime. Hey, I know you're bored. You want to train yourself. There's noisy grass beetles in front of the town. They'll be perfect to help you warm up. Of course they are. You can confirm quest targets on the mini map. Okay. Tell me more. Disembodied voice. As we run over here. Uh, okay. Oh wow, there's a ton of these beetles that you got a serious beetle problem here. You need a professional. Useful for hunting quests. Use the mini map to locate and eliminate your targets. When you come upon a target, you'll see the quest objectives written above the target's name. You see the quest? Oh, okay. The yeah, quest objective. Also be highlighted in blue, making it very easy to identify. Good job. You're a great partner. I have something to give you. They really wanted it to be obvious that first time to press that key. Were they too easy? Are there any stronger ones? Where and who are we? We do not have enough information for now. First of all, let's learn about these easiest guys. Just trust me. Call any time, okay? Loots, loots. And we're going to try to blow to the beginning, especially kind of quick. Because, you know, the combat's a little slow beginning off. It's going to be a lot of tutorial stuff, all that. So we want to kind of get through that a little bit quicker. Learn about weasels. Okay, looks like the weasel's over here. If that uh, orange mark is to be believed. I can't wait to learn about weasel weasels. We could have also hit the T button. I really like that. Like, at first I was like, oh, I guess that T's kind of cool. Like, the T to auto-go to uh, a location. They're like your quest objective. But it's actually really nice. Like you'll end up using it a lot. What did we learn about weasels? Now you understand weasels. Can you see how strong they are? Oh, we have to pick an item. We'll go with hit point potions to begin with. You cannot understand your enemy with one encounter. Since you know about weasels now, you understand their weaknesses. Attack some weasels again. You should be able to see about when they're going to die. So this game, you don't, like when you very first run into an enemy for the first time, you can't even see their hit points. Like, you don't even know how close they are to dying. You have to, um... I figured that was gonna get more. Uh, you have to kill a few and then you gain knowledge. Now, the way I thought this worked, and to me, makes the most logical sense, is that the more you kill an enemy, it increases your grade. So you start off, after you've killed a few, your grade D. Or C, or whatever. And then after you kill a whole bunch more, you go to, you know, A, or then you move up to S. My, and this to me sounds kind of stupid, and, uh, but, we, you know, we'll see, I guess, once we, we get there. But it sounds like it's random. So, when you kill enemies, eventually you can get a certain rank. Like, just, it is random, though, between D and S. And if you're like, oh, that's, and the higher the knowledge, the more items you get, things like that. Oh, nice. Hold on. We'll loot first. Hey, another ranger. So, you want to get a higher ranking in knowledge of these creatures you're fighting because it gives better loot. Uh, you, I think you do more damage and take less damage, etc. So, if you get a bad ranking, which is just totally random to my understanding, you have to go reset it and kill those enemies again. If that's true, that's pretty... that's dumb. Uh, hopefully, that's not the case. Hopefully, I misunderstood or that person reported wrong. It's troublesome to fight an enemy you don't know its limits. If you want to know your enemy's limit, get more knowledge as you just did. Let's go ahead and get more health. Sure. See those weird creatures with sleepy eyes? Aren't they good toys to play with? Just trust me. Every time I read that. Defeat the foxes. Alright, we'll hit T again. 
The auto run is really nice too early on when you're wanting to look at your skills. Oh, wait, stop. I want to pick up those, uh, gather these wild herbs. And this time, unlike, unlike last time when I played the sorceress, I will actually pick up the items. But yeah, you can like open your skills up and you can kind of look at your skills like, okay, what do I want to get next? What is this? Uh, shoot an arrow charged with energy in the wind. Shift plus right mouse button, left plus right mouse button when mounted. So shift and the right mouse button. This game's fairly complicated, just heads up. Uh, I am not an expert by any means. I played the closed beta one. Uh, and I've watched some videos, like, you know, to kind of help you learn some of the basics. But I'm not even remotely an expert. So, so we're going to kind of be learning together again. Obviously, a lot of the stuff I do know about. But, all right, was it shift right click? No, I guess we have to be in combat mode. Whoop. Whoa! That worked. <laughs> that sounded awful. We kill those foxes. We're killing a bunch of innocent creatures. And later on, you can skin these animals too. If it wasn't gruesome enough for you yet. But they sound nice. They're nice foxes. You're breathing heavily. Are you okay? Are you tired already? We're gonna go with the mana potion this time. Because those beasts are staring at us. I hate that look. Let's kick their asses. I like this little guy. He's he's a little bit all right. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I feel like we're zoomed right on in. Frame rate's better now that we've kind of, you know, gotten away from the large group of people. What is it that we're wanting to kill? Uh, oh, wolves. Like, bigger, meaner foxes, basically. Ah, you can hold it. Nice. Okay, that takes energy. Nice. And a level. <laughs> Whoops. I keep trying to loot with F. Too much uh, Blade and Soul. Which, self, sh shameless self-promotion. I have a series on Blade and Soul as well, if you'd be interested in checking that out. But uh, I was looking for herbs. I realized that he was ready to talk to me. All right. Oops. Wrong key. It's also the wrong key. Comma's not where you think it is, apparently. Not where I think it is. What are those red splatters on your clothes? Did they bite you? I keep forgetting to pick up. We just keep going with health. They are kind people, but what could be the real purpose? Have you heard that? Imps here are smart enough to throw stones. Well, I don't know how it feels because I got no hands, as you can see. All right. Let's go kill some imps. We're, slow. We're very quickly moving on to creatures that are at least, you know, somewhat scary. And again, I realize that we're not really looking at our skills. We're just kind of going early on. I just am going to do that just so we get moving a little bit faster until we really get to the meat of the game. And notice we can't see his health going down. Now we will because we we get our grade. Typically, that's a lot slower, though. Just, you know, be warned. It's not uh, always quite that quick. I do this now. You entered a combat zone. I don't even know what that means. It's just murder. I think that just, um, like. Stop throwing stones at me. That's a sorceress. That's the class I played during uh, the first closed beta. Again, you'll notice his hit points don't look like they're going down, but that's just because we don't know what his hit points are. Let's uh, see, so we need three more imp soldiers. I think they should be up here. We also want to uh, kind of uh, get out of this area. Just because there's so many people around, it's going to be hard to find... You know, creatures to kill, a little bit more laggy, all that good stuff. All right, there's another one. All right, after this quest, we'll take a look at our skills. Do the charge wind shot. 
That's pretty nice. It does a like a knockback stun. It looks back. Looks like. And we got a B, which is good. We can now see their hit points. Now we can see kind of how much hit points this takes. I see a counter there. I want to see what happens if we let it run out. If we either do an ultra shot or if it, nope, nope, it just dies. Beat another level. Charging kick. All right. So notice now on the left hand side or on the the other left hand side that we've got like these skills that keeps coming up. This tells you basically all the keys that you can press at the time. It's really good for learning combos of attacks. Uh, we will probably turn that off fairly soonish because it will get uh, it will get irritating. Just like hitting the wrong button repeatedly will also get irritating. Just listen to me, you'll get stronger. I hope you can beat stronger guys down, right? You keep exalting yourself. You're the strongest. Take away those imps' equipment and destroy them. Take away their power, okay? Okay. Play every day. And I missed the rest of that. What are we doing here? We need to take imp soldier's clothes. A little late there, Hoss. Look at that little dodge. All right, so let's take a look at our skills. What do we have? We have learnable skills. We have Breath of Air. Uh, passive Shift plus right mouse button after a basic bow attack. Charging Kick. Perform Kick Attack while charging forward. Spirit Healing. Automatically improves MP regen while in combat stance. Bow skill can, bow skill can recover more MP. Hmm. And different skills require a different amount of skill points. So keep that in mind. So sometimes you just want to wait before you spend any points. So right now I actually do want to wait. I want to see what this skill does exactly. The charging wind. Shoot an arrow charged with the, in with the energy of the wind. Consumes 100 stamina for each charge. Damage of charge 1.2, 105% times 2 hits. Damage of charge 2 becomes base damage while riding, which that's not an issue. Inflicts knockback on successful hits. Okay, dagger protection. Right mouse button when in combat stance. Right mouse button when sprinting. Interesting. Shift left mouse button to fire exploding arrow. That sounds pretty good. I'm going to try that. Eh, that doesn't really seem to work. I'm holding shift. Hmm. We'll try the running skill, too. What are we being hit by? Oops. I don't think we're going to knock back the, the mound. There's a berserker. There, the combat zone. I still don't know exactly what that means. I mean, I guess it just means stuff that attacks. Oh, it looks like we have a few there. Let's go ahead and charge this up to two. Nice. There we go. I tried to do the kick in. Any excuse to use the kick. As a, uh, as a ranger, obviously. Wait, hold on. Let's shift. Yeah. Kick him? Oh, I think you can't do the kick while you're moving. It seems. Okay. What else do we need? We need raider helmets. He's already getting punched. Yeah, the shift left mouse button doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to really do anything. Like, I'm not noticing a real difference. Hmm. We will mess with it. We'll figure it out. We will get it all figured out. Again, this first video, first video or two, we'll mostly be trying to just, uh, you know, get ahead, get our skills, get to the tutorial stuff. 
Which I don't have a problem with tutorial things. Oh yeah. I'm gonna guess we're not gonna level this fast normally. In fact, most quests don't even give regular combat XP. A lot of, from what I understanding is, most of your regular uh, experience, like leveling experience, is actually going to be from uh, fighting. But quests give you something else that you want, which we'll talk about. You killed pretty much all the imps. By the way, how would it feel? I mean, dying. There must be a power source for the imps around here. Like my black power, the imps are bound to something. Humans always ask others to do chores, yes. Another. What was the new one? Dagger of Protection? Oh, I think we already had that one. Anyway, let's see. Round kick. Can use three quick shot. Okay. Here we already have. I guess it's just the next level. Shift plus less mouse mount, but shift plus left mouse button. See, yeah, look at the video. It's showing it. See, this regular left. Come on, there you go. That's regular left click. And now when she does shift, it looks a little different. Let's try it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, because the, the the last three I did regular shots. Okay. All right, I can. Sort of tell a difference. What are we looking for? Destroy imp amulets. Doesn't really look like a whole <laughs> amulet to me, but whatever works. Hit that wrong button again. That's going to happen a lot. Especially with such a weird button for this guy. This video is also probably going to be longer than normal. Again, just so we can kind of get through the intro stuff. So the imp's power source is what the humans call their home. Well, yeah, I did have a home. But the memory is very dim, and I'm clear now. Why, it's been a very long time. Why are they called the Steel Imps? Are they stronger than the normal ones? Hmm, how about you call yourself Steel Verti? Yeah, I never can think. My regular names, Chloe and Veronica, were taken. And no, they were not from Life is Strange. Which I feel like I have to say every time now, because it's two of the names I liked using for female characters for like years and years, and then... That game had both of those names. I was like, oh, I think Veronica. Is that her name? Victoria? Veronica? I don't remember. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. What matters is killing steel imps and taking their swords, helmets, and wizard staffs. All right, switch to combat. Nice, that roundhouse hits him in an area, too. Alright, you can't do the... Wait, can we move back and do this? Ah, yeah! Back and, uh... Back and right-click. Had a special type of attack there, hold on. Ha, <laughs> that's pretty awesome, actually. We can, we can stop moving back like that, I think. Oh, we used the bar of stamina, I believe. Wait, what is this one? Yeah, okay, the green is the stamina. Right. But yeah, this game has got a lot of uh, like complication in like how oops, how like moves work. Okay, I'm out of stamina for that, I guess. Double back. Or Devil Backwards does that backflip. And I imagine if we find another enemy, I'm going to try double back and then holding left click so I can attack while I'm getting away. Ah, that did not work. Oh, I see. I was trying to... Are you resetting already? Really? They must be. I didn't get him that far away. All right, maybe he was kind of far away. I like the knockback on that. 
So far this class is pretty, very, very simplistic. It's just mostly left click and then shift left click for slightly different arrows. But uh, I assure you that will, well, I'm not gonna assure you because I never played this class at that level, but, uh, or, you know, up to high level. Or actually before, <laughs> higher than what you've seen me play now. But from what I've seen, uh, the classes are uh, all pretty interesting as far as the combat goes. Yeah, it's more like it. I need another AE though. I don't, are those explosive? I can't tell if those explosive shots are hitting other enemies. I know those other people were attacking my enemies. Which is fine by me because I get the credit for it. Because Die. Because I'm the one who tagged them initially. Oh, we didn't need that. Charge. Ah, it's gonna kick him to finish it. What else do we need? Imp Warriors. Oh, there we go. Okay, that does do AE. Okay. That's pretty awesome, actually. The animations in this game are pretty sweet. I'm using the explosive shots to try to hit both of them. There we go. Ooh, nice. C on the warriors. We got a militia axe. Actually, I forgot to put any gear on. Thought they were actually tough as steel, but no, they were too easy. So let's not put the steel thing in your name. You see the pile of stones? The tower-like thing belongs to the steel imps. It's interrupting our battle against them. Let's topple the tower first. Now let's check our inventory. Now we have a better bow. Some shoes. That's it, actually. I like how the new stuff or the upgraded items actually uh, show the arrow. That's nice. We get sticks out. Destroy the imp defensive towers. Okay. Shift runs. You do have like a combat mode and a normal fighty mode. So. And you can't run once you get in combat, I think. I swear there was like a. Whatever. Just destroy this tower. Oop. And grab these herbs. Okay. And we talk to the MP yet again. First hit the map button yet again, because you can't figure out what the comma is, apparently. Not like you've ever used it before. Well done. Now nothing can stop us. I think I'd be used to that by now. Hey, I found some barracks there. Do you need something? Maybe they got some stuff we need. Why don't we go there and look for some useful stuff? So now we're starting to get contribution XP. And we're still going to be getting regular experience. Oh, we're going to get an earring as well. So contribution XP, it's kind of interesting. I still don't fully understand how all of it works. But basically you can take contribution points and you can do certain things with them. For example, you can like buy a house or a, not a house, but you can buy like a warehouse or a turn it, a turn by, get a building and turn it into a warehouse. Uh, you can hire workers to mine for you or pick mushrooms or, you know, do these various things. Uh, you can also invest in nodes, which will increase your experience. Well, not your experience, but it will increase loot drops in that area as well. Oop, I'm going to stop and talk to him because he's got a quest for us. This is Balanos, Western Gateway. The node here can be connected from Western Guard Camp. Ah, okay. So yeah, if we go node management, yeah. So basically, and we're not going to get into this too much because I don't really understand how this works just yet. But basically, you invest in nodes with your um, contribution XP or your contribution points, which we have none right now. And then when you spend them, like you gain access to things, like you can mine it, you can. Uh, have your workers cut trees there. You can, as I mentioned before, you'll get additional loot items when you kill mobs in that area. And then when you're done, if you decide, okay, I don't want to use this area anymore, I'm going to move on, you can actually get all your contribution points back. So it's a very interesting system, which again, I don't fully understand. I watched some videos and stuff on that. We'll, uh, we'll see how it works, but it sounds really cool. 
I still love in this game how you bump into people like, ugh, wow, I made that guy warp hit him so hard. I'm not even reading the chat, probably for the best. It already has less guild, like a uh, gold spam than uh, Blade and Soul. My God, Blade and Soul has so much gold spam, it's insane. But that's what you get for being free to play, I suppose. Just bump everybody, be rude as hell, who cares? This is your world. Everybody else is just living in it. This game is beautiful, by the way. It just looks, uh, looks just really good. Isn't this leading us back to where we were? I feel like you are. Whoa. Where are you leading us? Did I, uh... Change my waypoint? Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this is like way back here. Why on earth do you leave me here? Alright. That's strange. Uh, I, but you can also hold while it's doing the auto run thing. Which is uh, obviously nice. It would be nicer if they just auto sprint, but eh, whatever. No big deal. We're not going to bother stopping for those herbs since we're already backtracked a lot. But you also, while we're kind of waiting here, I want to talk about energy. I think it's called energy. Let's check. There's my mouse. Energy. So, if you've played games like Arc Age with the work point system, I think it's called work work points or something like that. Labor labor points, I think is what it's called. You know, you kind of understand how this works. A lot of thing in the game costs energy. Things like gathering herbs. Things like opening certain containers that mobs drop. Like for example, in a lot of MMOs, you have uh, you have like a bag that will drop from a mob and then you open the bag and money comes out or a you know, ring or whatever. So that costs work points. Um, doing various things with setting up your workers and things, those cost work points. And they regenerate naturally over time. I don't know what the rate is. I want to say around one every five minutes, but don't quote me on that. I could be completely pulling that out of my rear end. But you can also get more points by doing quests and performing other certain activities. So if you like use all your work points and you want to get more, you can do quests in a lot of time or talk to new NPCs that you've never talked to. That will also give you the uh, the energy points as well. So when I talk to this guy, in fact, it might give us one. So we have 20 right now. Uh, yep, we did get one. We got that little icon that shows we got a, Not a inner point of, of energy. Rumor has it, trees are moving to the south. So did we get both of these quests? If you happen I think to run we did. Into an aggressive bear while okay. through the forest, uh, actually, wait, maybe we did. Really dangerous. I thought I said we did. Or maybe that's our max energy? No, because we had 31 before. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so where are we going now? This time maybe it'll actually send us to the right spot. And I'll run around and talk to all these NPCs probably when we're, we're wrapping up. But yeah, this game looks really, really good. Like I see right now it's not running super great because there's just so many people. And again, some MMOs don't behave properly when you're recording. Uh, it's not necessarily mean the game itself runs poorly, just to be clear on that. Because some people kind of misunderstood, I think, during the beta. Because I mentioned it a few times. And they thought that meant the game run really bad. Uh, not necessarily. The imp captain Red Nose is the cause of all this trouble. And as as again I mentioned. We will, um, I'll try messing with the settings too, off, off camera. See if I can't run it a little bit more consistently. Captain Cliff tends to favor Armstrong. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to everybody. Survival. You should invest in so the knowledge system, um, let's talk about that a little bit insofar as the NPCs go. You must never It'll make a little bit more sense when you see it, but a lot of NPCs you can have a conversation with. Right now, we probably can't see. Energy uh, went up by one Talk, by Samuel. talking to him. I, take care of the I don't think sources. I can start a conversation with him yet. Okay, we can. All right. So, it's this is really weird. This is a conversation. This guy has a particular interest, uh, which I forget what it is. It tells you on the outside of, of the screen. But basically, this is having a conversation. And you want to try to do this. An interest level... 30, and I think favors how much you get. I'm still not 100% clear how this works. 
And these are the people he knows about that are related to his interests that you can talk about. So, uh, requirement. Gain a maximum favor of 29 or higher from Samuel. Maintaining combos and favorable knowledge, blah, blah, blah. And when you hover over this, it will tell you his interest level with this person. Uh, it will also show you uh, the percentage chance that you will spark interest. Uh, it's like 83% on him, 17% uh, there, 100. So we want to get as many high as possible in a row to keep that combo up, right? Because it says maintaining combos and favorable knowledge will help you obtain high favor. So let's actually put the weakest guy first. What do you right click? Uh, what's next? Do 80, 83. Oh, wait, actually, no, let's cut this guy out. I thought we had to use them all. But forget that 17%. That sucks. Do 80, 83, 100%, 100%. All right, let's try it. See what happens. All right, good. Oh, failed on that guy. Uh, did we do it? All right, we gain. Nope. No energy. Now, it takes energy to talk to this guy to enter this conversation. Since we actually passed that test, we can try another, we can go another round without spending more energy. Uh, if we leave, we just gain 21 uh, enmity. Enmity? I think enmity. Let's go ahead and push forward. A requirement. Gain a maximum favor of 32 or higher. That's probably going to be kind of difficult. One, two, three, four... Sometimes you can have a lot more people. So the more people you know that's related to the interest, the better for you. That's why you want to talk to all these people. Because they will not show up in this wheel until you've talked to them at least once. So the 17, we're going to use the same same thought process here. 80. Oops, nope, nope, not 17. 83. 100. Actually, we're going to put you last because you had the highest favor. So if, I'm guessing if you have the combo going, it would be the most advantageous. Oh, come on. I feel like I got robbed. Uh, what's the current? That was the accumulated. Oh, wow. Gained 63 Amity. Uh, Amity? And also, too, this shows your current Amity. And there, you might think, well, what the hell is the point of this? As you get favor with these people, uh, it might open up quests. It might open up th certain things you can buy, things of that nature. Uh, talk free with this Samuel. This, you can't fail. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you do. Uh, so we'll just do the same we've been doing. We know we lost an 80% and an 83%. <laughs> and we still got a failure in there. Nice. Sweet. Oh, that's cool. Checking in on a horse, okay. But that's roughly how that system works. Again, okay, we're gonna keep talking to them. I'm not gonna do this conversation. As far as the conversations with people, I might show that like once or twice more, but I'm not gonna show every single conversation I do with people. But I think you generally do want to do them. And everybody, I think, if basically everybody with the little face over their face, like the two faces, you want to talk to at least once. Uh, and he's got a quest, I think. Or this is a skill instructor. Typically, you can, uh, as the tutorial said, you don't necessarily uh, have to go to the skill instructor to learn new skills, but you kind of want to so that you don't waste energy, uh, if it's possible. All right, let's talk with this quest giver. Trust me, he told me there's another imp captain. What? It's a tiny nose. It's a weird goblin noise or imp, whatever it is. Where is he? Uh, a cave. The, the imp cave. Where is he? Party. On standby. So it's in the northeast. That's the south, you sir. Go with him. Yes. Uh, if there's two imp leaders, this won't be easy. No, it'll be incredibly easy Captain because Cliff, they're... Commander of the Western Guard camp. Well, uh, you almost said everything that's in the text. This old captain. I will protect them with my life. Give or take. It seems that an imp named Red Nose is making trouble around here. All right, so this says spoiled Jarrett. Three energy required for this quest. We'll hit R. Wasn't Jarrett being rude? Please understand. She was spoiled from youth. There are more dangerous ones around. 
If you you can learn also... That skills, go see Armstrong. I guess you went through a lot to get here. Have you checked out the imp cave? Then you have... Then you have only one thing left to do. Try investing your contribution points in the Western Guard camp. Hmm, okay, that's trying to tell us how that works. So we actually check that out real quick. What's well, another interesting facet of this game is you can rent items. Grand Chamberlain Jordine can't be trusted. Uh, you get the as with everything else. I'm pretty sure you get the contribution points back. I don't think you ever lose contribution points permanent. But anyway, you can see the stats here: DP two, which I'm assuming are defense points. Uh, blah blah blah. Shoes borrow. Blah blah blah. They can be returned to the owner. Oh, uh, max stamina 100. Okay, that's pretty good. And we're not going to, but. Yes, I know. Well, let's see what our contribution points are total in a second. Humans always ask others for chores. You're doing well, but actually you're too indulgent. If you keep going like that, it will bite you back someday. Why? You can't admit it? Well, that's the truth. Let's go to the town. The masters of combat skills are gathering there. Learn at least one move before you get into life-threatening danger. Okay, let's actually see. There are actually contribution points. That's, okay, there's a contribution points. We have zero, so we have we won't be investing in uh, too much of anything right now. So this is the guy that the, our little cloudy friends wanted us to talk to. You can use energy to upgrade your skills even without meeting me. You're lacking basic skills. My years of experience as an instructor tell me that. Competent hunters know how to easily avoid the attacks of their targets. But the best ones are those who can avoid an attack at the same time. If your enemy is stronger than you, gain experience by fighting weaker opponents for a while. Or running around way a lot. So you can see this guy's Western Camp, uh, his interest knowledge status is Western Camp, office, uh, Western Camp Officers. So we've got seven of the ten. Now the conversation, oh okay, two of twenty-two, okay. That's showing you how much energy it will cost to start the conversation. This tells you how many people you know. Again, as you saw before, the more people we know, the better, because we can get higher percentage people to make it easier to max out our uh, amity with these people. But anyway, let's look at the skills again. Um, I'm not really sure what to go with. I might take a while to kind of look. Ooh, there's Tearing Arrow. That sounds, that sounds hot. S plus E. Ooh, nice. Damn. That looks pretty sweet. I'm watching the little video at the bottom. Use the power of spirit to fire powerful arrows that cause serious damage. Down plus E. Right mouse button to cancel. Can use with a quick slot. A quick slot just means, like with a typical MMO, you can drag it down to like in the one key and use it as one. Uh, consumes 100 endurance for each charge. Damage of charge uh, one and two or 92% times seven. Damage of charge 3 is 230% times 5. Wow. Critical hit rate 100%. Up to 4 targets at the first and second charge, up to 5 on the third. Successful hit inflicts bleeding. God, this sounds pretty good. Recovers MP. Yeah, uh, let's learn that. That sounds pretty sick. Where is it? Where is it? I presume we can, we can reset our skills at some point too. I don't... Oh, wait, there's a... Video? Ah, okay. I really love when MMOs do this. I love when they have built-in tutorials, especially when they're class specific, and especially when they're class uh, class based. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of this. What I'll do is I'll look at these at the end of the video. That way, those of you who are not interested can just skip it. Uh, but uh, that does that's really really cool. I really like that. I want to try this some bitch out though. This tearing arrow. Uh, this sounds like it's going to whoop some ass. Hello, freaky thing. Can you hear that? I sense a strong aura from the south. Maybe something good will happen, or maybe something really, really bad. But who knows, right? You don't have to go through, go there, though, so think carefully. <laughs> Such an ass. That's some dangerous shit down there. You can go. I mean, you don't have to. You don't, you're a major, major pussy if you don't, but you don't have to go. The, the faces and stuff in this game are incredible. Faces and hair in this game look really, really good. I mean, everything does. And you can't really tell right now because it's dark, but trust me, uh, it totally does. Uh, I want to go kill something because I want to see... Mm. 
You wanna... There we go. I think maybe the first time you click on it might be uh, like it just sets the waypoint. And then clicking it again will all have you go there. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. I know we're starting off very slowly. But hey, it's the tutorial. You know, depending on how much I like the game, I am going to play it on uh, release, by the way. Uh, we just got a quest as well. We'll go ahead and grab that from him. Or wait, maybe he did. Hmm, thought he did. Anyway, uh, I do... I've already pre-ordered and everything, so I'm definitely playing this on release. I'm not sure which class I'm going to play. Uh, maybe a few. It depends. All right, that's not even the right skill. All right, so it was, it was S, it was that, but down plus E, okay. Whoa. Okay, that was pretty sweet. I want to try to let's see if there's a group of enemies. Let's try to kill the wolves, since that's actually we actually have a quest for that. I don't think. Can you switch instances in this game? I can't remember. Uh, channel shift. That's just to another server? Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I ever did that in the beta. This could be interesting. Go left click? I'm trying to figure out how to actually do that correctly. Hold on. Let me look at the skills again real fast. Because when I let it go, like, nothing happens. Uh, down plus E. But let's watch the video. The so down plus E. He charges. Okay, then left click to unleash. Gotcha. Okay. See, that's why that shift is good. Get it charged up. Oh. Wait, what? It didn't work. Oh, maybe you have to hold left click. you think I'd have this by now. One thing I wish that uh, more MMOs would do... That... I think it was Arcade that did. Where you could actually... Um... God damn, that's sick! It's immoral. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that quest is done. I was like looking at the wrong quest. I'm like, wait a minute, I thought it was done. Let's go turn this in and we'll, we'll call it a day. But I do wish more MMOs would do what, uh, I, again, I believe it's Arcage. Where, if a quest said, kill ten wolves, you could actually stop killing wolves at seven and turn the quest in. But you'd get a lesser reward, less experience, less money. You could also do the opposite. If it required 10 wolves, you could kill up to 15 and get extra experience and extra money. That's awesome. Like, I, I love that. Like, sometimes if I'm in a hurry, it was like, oh, okay, like, I can, you know, move on and do something else. But if I got time and, you know, I just want to get the most experience I can, which is most of the time, then I could, you know, do extra on the quest. I always thought that was a really cool mechanic. And I haven't really seen many many games do uh, take advantage of that. You must be an adventurer. You're... Do you need a weapon? All right, we got this uh, inventory plus one expansion expands adventurer's in inventory. Right click to use. <laughs> Only buy one, but that's all right. We got a second weapon box. We got a militia dagger, which is a slight upgrade. That's probably for our melee attacks. That would make the most sense. But, uh, okay, well, we got a good start here. I'm going to fix some stuff. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, let's get out of combat here. I'm going to... Can I? There it is. I'm going to um, try to get things running a little bit smoother here. I'm probably also going to run around the camp and work on the conversation a little bit. Because, again, I don't think you guys are probably super interested in that. I might show a few times from here and there. But for the most part, I don't think you guys will find it super interesting. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys are thinking so far. I don't know if I'll have time during the closed beta to play a second character. However, if you are interested in other classes, 
just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, that might help me decide which class that I play once the game goes live. Because I, like I said, I honestly am not sure what I want to play yet. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter. And uh, I will see you next time.